Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Uh, this is a, a real, real great day for the region, for both Cold Spring, especially for the partnerships that we've ali al um, aligned between uh, Putnam County and Dutchess County. I'd like to uh, start out really by saying that this is something that has been in the works for two years. Uh, we have uh, leaders in this region that look for these kinds of partnerships to promote businesses, to do what we need to do to move people safely, and to advertise the beautiful place that we have here in the Hudson River Valley. Certainly Putnam County, right here with, you can hear the transportation, the trains, and the great opportunity that we have to move our visitors that come up from New York City, from south at this point, to showcase our beautiful main streets, the great village of Cold Spring, and the beautiful city of Beacon. There's so much to see and there's so much to do here within just seven miles. There's great hiking trails, there's, there's wonderful, wonderful opportunities to share in the natural resources of the region. We're joined today by uh, just an unbelievable team of people who helped put this all together. But first I want to introduce the people who really made this happen. Those are the people at the top. My County Executive Mary Ellen O'Dell, who, who had a lot of patience going through this process and uh, certainly sees the big picture and the vision as we started to forge this partnership. And Marcus Molinero, Dutchess County Executive, who as well is a great visionary and allows us to work in partnership, two counties, to deliver great services. I'll introduce some of the other great people and I can't uh, stop by the person who pushed this every bit of the way, and that's our mayor from the city of Beacon, Mayor Casal. Um, he, uh, he saw this and I can't tell you how many times he said, when is this gonna happen? We need to have this happen. And he was a man that was there. Um, of course, our legislators, uh, Barbara Scuchamara, from this district in the town of Phillipstown in Putt Valley and April Farley, Dutchess County. Uh, both of them, thank you very much for your leadership. Our tourism uh, directors, um, I, I can't say enough about Libby who helped through this all. Uh, our deputy Frank Smith is here and I also want to thank a great partner for many years, Mary Kay Barba. Mary, thank you. Our, our business community is here in full force. Uh, we have Bill Nolk from the Putnam Chambers of Commerce, Ron Ayarasi from the Beacon Chambers, Allison Antoine, Cold Spring Chamber, and I butchered your name again, I'm sure. It's Italian, you know, the T-H-I, it just doesn't work for me. Um, and I want to also thank, at the other end, uh, where the bus uh, ends up as its destination, Mount Beacon. We have Scenic Hudson joining us, and Andy Bicking is here with us as well. Uh, I can't, you could see what we have here in the way of a partnership. So it's all levels of government, it's the business community, it's environmental people who are gonna enjoy protecting the land and showcasing the great hiking trails. All of this is very, very exciting. And I, I'm not going to go on anymore because I am really proud that this trolley is going to do its maiden, verge, the maid, maiden voyage and I want to allow our county executive, Mary Ellen O'Dell, to, uh, to say a couple of words. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Thank you, and thank you very much, Vinny. Uh, I have a, a great team in Putnam County and certainly we have understood that transportation and infrastructure is really what's going to drive our economy. And it's all about making sure that we get people working from the young to the old. And uh, it's also important to support our businesses. And that's why this venture has been, I think, such a, a positive project. And I do want to thank the mayor for having the um, innovative idea about this partnership. You know, there are so many people that have great ideas, but it's about putting the rubber to the road, no pun intended today. <laughs> uh, I had to do that for our Dutchess County Executive because he really is the one who, um, understands that it's regional now and that we have to look at the big picture and that we have to be partners. And while at one time, 202 years ago, Putnam and Dutchess were one county until uh, we, de we decided to take on our own identities, we are back together working together. And uh, it's a great, 
great opportunity today to ask our Dutchess County Executive to join us in this terrific venture. And, and so everyone, I'd like to welcome and introduce our Dutchess County Executive and partner, Marcus Molinaro. Thank you, Mary Ellen. I, it was a violent revolution, Putnam County's uh, <laughs> abandonment of uh, Duchess. Uh, uh, but as Mary Ellen noted, I, I brought our flag with us, and we planted it here in Cold Spring. We're going to, we're going to take you back one neighborhood at a time. Uh, here, I know you're tougher than we are. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me thank all of you uh, for uh, for the hard work uh, of bringing this together. Mary Ellen uh, spoke about it, but uh, economies, uh, the environment. Uh, e and the way in which we live our lives don't necessarily end at municipal boundaries. Uh, and the concept uh, that uh, we could bring two counties uh, and our respective communities together uh, through a, a very simple connection like this uh, is so important. Uh, tourism in Dutchess County represents about a half a billion dollar industry and the city of Beacon uh, is I think a prime example for us in Dutchess uh, of all the great assets, all the great opportunities and all the possibility that exists uh, to really grow that segment of our economy. Being able to connect Beacon and Cold Spring, Putnam and Duchess, uh, through uh, this uh, uh, trolley connection, uh, it really will be uh, invaluable. Uh, helping to support growth in both communities, helping to promote uh, uh, business uh, growth in both communities, and helping to see private sector uh, investment in both communities. Uh, now residents, visitors, tourists will have the opportunity to experience all the great resources, assets of Putnam County, all of those great assets, resources of Dutchess County, and by bringing together our two transit systems, we reach across municipal boundaries uh, to create a partnership that we believe uh, will benefit all of us. I too want to extend my thanks uh, to Mayor Casal. Why don't you come up here for a second? Uh, this, I have to tell you, we're, we're going to have another event in, in Dutchess, and I think he can speak then, right? That we're going to keep him quiet now? No, no, if he starts now, we'll never... We'll never. <laughs> Uh, I have to tell you, in Dutchess County, uh, they don't get much better than Mayor Randy Cassell, who lives and breathes the city of Beacon. And he was uh, tireless in his advocacy and, commit and commitment to reaching across. And you know what? So many elected officials sometimes are very parochial. That's not Randy Cassell, so we're very, very grateful. Uh, we, we look forward to continued growth in both communities. I want to thank Vinny. I want to thank Cynthia Ruiz, who is our transit administrator, and we're appreciative of their work together. And Randy, I'm sure you wouldn't mind me thanking Anthony Ruggiero, uh, your city administrator. So thanks. I look forward to getting on the bus. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. And I, I do have to say uh, the, the, the people who make the wheels on the bus go round and round are people like Cynthia. Uh, also, we have MV Transportation that's standing there on the sidelines. They were out every morning this week at 6 o'clock. Try, doing trial runs and making sure that this thing goes off when we start on Saturday and that uh, there's there's not a hitch. So thank you to MV, thank you to Cynthia, and Anthony, thank you too for bringing this all together. Um, we're going to uh, have uh, our local legislator, uh, Legislator Scuchamara, just speak. Um, and Barbara? Just briefly, I think it's been really covered, but I want to emphasize the importance of our main streets and our businesses not only in Cold Spring, but in Beacon as well. And also what this does for, not only for the people coming up on the train to take advantage of our hiking trails and everything else we have to offer, but our own people, like our seniors, being able to take a bus up to Beacon and then connect to another connection up that way, I think that's gonna be huge. And this is only the beginning of what we can do. So we're gonna see how this works and then the sky's the limit. I'm very excited, thank you. Thank you. And um, again, I want to really thank everybody for coming. This is uh, an opportunity for me to tell everybody out there as well to come and ride the trolley. Uh, it, is a, it is a great ride. It is a very short trip. We want to make sure that you get here. We're, we're here on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. And uh, you can get here. The first stop uh, is right at uh, Cold Spring, 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we run right through six o'clock at night, give you a great opportunity to enjoy both the village of Cold Spring and the city of Beacon. Thank you, and we're gonna board the trolley. Well, I'm sorry, we'll no, no, we'll you guys